moon hangs heavy in the late night sky, yet the Pope's still full. Let's have a look why. The day was long and offered nothing of cheer. How about a story over a mug of beer? Crowd around of all who dwell here. I'm Jack. Call me the storyteller. Quiet down and lend me your ear. I know exactly what you want to hear. I'll spin you a yarn, and before I'm through, you'll be as sure as I that every word is true. It's about a brave little girl with hardly a fear, who looked for her life like any of these kids here. But wait, who's this stumbling onto the stage? A round of applause for our leading lady. Her name is Abby. She lived in a quaint little village just like... like this one. Trust me, it's not so important where you are from. Even the meekest hick town has stories galore. So that one I'm telling might as well be yours. A little circus was in town, traveling their route, wooing the locals wherever they were about. And amongst all these passers-by, here's Abby. Would you like to say hi? Come on, Abby. Show us what you're made of. Not bad. Well done, eh? Or do you think Abby's selling you short? She's not here by chance, though. No, this isn't a visit. This is her home. Fortune has deemed her artiste extraordinaire, though not extraordinary enough to command her fair share. The ringmaster announces, Attention, the artiste! A meager little girl child confronts the beast. Help! I'm afraid I've got my cat. Someone to the rescue! Can I be saved by scout? Stop now and use your wit. <laughs> Phenomenal, Abby. Do tell. Ringmaster praises. You've mastered that well. But now the hours have whiled away. That was the last performance of the day. <laughs> <laughs> 